Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. O Kadabara Bushinta Kata Librudesha. Zigrindi Bushi Branda Vasete Kete Librudaya. Mesu Branda Kashi Kata Baba Sulada. Thank you, Lord Jesus. E Robo Bosuntini Nene Kushinda Dagai. Mesu Predege Shu Branda Dada Dada Baba Bashikiti. E Robo Boshim Brende Deke Shiba Baba Sulada. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shakata Branikadia. Meso Brende Ketele Bondo Shikrada Basante Kede. Ekro de Bosukanda Laba Sekete Bradisha. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone that is tuning in for this session, God bless you. As we begin this session today, can we pray and just worship the Lord and just appreciate Him? Let's just worship the Lord and just appreciate Him. Say, Father, thank you for another privilege to be in your presence. Thank you for another opportunity to hear your word. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Someone just begin to pray. Lift up your voices in prayers and appreciate the Lord. Ekende bobo subra de ke shikata. Metenge neke subra de gadai. He is worthy to be praised and he is worthy to be glorified. I want you to worship him because he is merciful. Worship him because he is loving, because he is kind, because he is here and he's willing and able to answer all your prayers. Just lift up your voices and acknowledge the Lord. The Bible says where two or three are gathered in his name. He's there in their midst. Somebody worship him. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Immortal God, invisible God, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the mighty man in battle. Nobody can wear the crown you wear. Nobody can answer the name that you answer. You alone are God. You alone are worthy. You alone are God. And you alone are worthy. Somebody magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Ekanama masokotele baba basunte. If you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, if you believe in your heart that he is supreme, if you believe in your heart that he is the ultimate, if you believe in your heart that God is the overall, I want you to just worship him and say, Lord, I acknowledge your might. Ekada baba sontele bodura. In your own words, in your own words, begin to pray somebody. Ekede mo shikata brade kala. E repepe no sunte ne ne mo shikata. E rababa si kende mo shigalai. Rabo sunte ngo dobrunde le bosha. Thank you, Lord Jesus. E role kende be subra de kandia. Rebebesa. Yes, you are the mighty man in battle. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's somebody watching me right now by the Spirit of God. Thanks to the Spirit of God. I have this revelation about this person. You got attached to something while you were growing up and it has been a major attack in your life. You got attached while you were growing up, while you were growing up. It happened while you were growing up and it has been a major reason, the major attack, the major force that has been keeping you down. But God is disconnecting you right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your power. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Mesokoto bonde krodadish, erababa sante lebebebe sura, 
God bless every one of you tuning in for this live session. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. I'm trusting God that by the end of this session, I will call on your names and I will pray for you. God bless you. God bless you. I want us to pray today. God is showing me something. Just while we're worshiping, remember we started yesterday and we are on a three days prayer against all form of spiritual attack. And while we were worshiping, the Lord opened my eyes to see someone that got connected to something. And he says, this is the force that has caused limitation in her life. Oh, my Jesus. This, this lady is 35 years of age. 35 years. 35 years of age. That's what I see in the realm of the spirit. The Lord has not revealed to me clearly what happened while you were young. But I see a disconnection. While we're worshiping, I saw a light. And as I saw that light, it caused a disconnection. You're receiving your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receiving your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Just lift up your voice and say, Father, because of my presence in this place today, do not pass me by. I believe God is touching you. You know, every day is a battle. Every blessed day is a battle. We are drawing near to the end of time, whether you believe it or not. We are drawing near to the end of time. And the devil is working, trying by all possible means to depopulate the kingdom of heaven. Devising strategies every day on media, on this, devising strategies to distract the children of God, to attack them, to keep them limited. Sometimes you could just fall a victim of all of this. Anyone that is trying to take your position, anyone that is trying to occupy a space that rightfully belongs to you, as you connect to this prayer today, we take it back by fire. In this kingdom, we must understand the place of authority. When you meet with, with an adversary, you don't negotiate. You exercise your authority. All power has been given you exercise the authority that has been given to you that position is restored in the name of jesus oh thank you father makote baba ba sukranda ba shoke ke di sukrodoy igidi gidi bana masonte ke rabradu shakaya mekolo brede ko shukranda bala kade bo sikiti balaida Everyone under the sound of my voice. And you have been suffering or you have been under any kind of demonic attack and manipulation. Because you joined this session today. God will deliver you. Your deliverance has come. Oh my God. I couldn't miss this live session. I'm sorry about my voice. I have a little cold. It's a rainy season and it's really cold here. So, caught some cold. So I came back home quite late from a program and I just wanted to rest. But the Spirit of God pushed me. It was a three days of prayers and there is a disconnection that He's doing in your life. So, I told myself whether the voice comes out well or not. I'm going to pray. Just pardon my voice. Do you believe the things that you hear? Do you believe that everyday life is spiritual? Oh, I'm not permitted to share this experience that I came across lately because it's not directly related to me. But I saw a spiritual battle where if God did not intervene, like, Two people would have lost their lives. I mean, it's a spiritual battle. And I felt like God wanted me to see that. Just to remind me. Hi, thank you, Iska. Just to remind me that life is a battle. A spiritual is a battle. There's someone who doesn't want you to get what you have to get. Wicked forces trying to derail you. You see, there are two women 
The Bible records a story of two women who gave birth the same night. The Bible says they gave birth the same night. One was just sleeping with her child and the other two. But one was careless and killed her child in the night, slept over her child. When I exchanged the child with that of the devil, why do you think the, the Bible records that? Let me get something warm. I'm sorry. I don't do this on live session. I'm trying to at least get my voice to sustain me. Why do you think that the Bible records that? It's to open your mind, open your eyes to make you see beyond the physical. There are some things that happen at night while you are asleep. There are some things that happen. And it's not because you are a bad person or you did something wrong. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. We are constantly wrestling. Please don't forget that. Don't wake up one day and feel like whatever will be, will be. That's the, that's the most deceptive statement we've ever heard from childhood. That whatever will be, will be. Whatever will be, will not be until someone fights to make it be. Until someone stands up. One of my friends called and he said, I noticed something that happens to a group of people and they keep failing. What's your take on this? I told him two things. I said, the first, that people, people ignore the spirituality of success. Your, your, your human strength can take you to a certain level, but it gets to a level where it cannot cross. That's why people succeed and they make it, they reach a particular level and you need a spirit to back you up. But they think they can cross from level to level with their power. You see, the more you grow, the more you should depend on God. The more you succeed, the more you should depend on God. The forces that are fighting your success are even more than the forces that want you to succeed and be established. I thank God for this session. I thank God for this prayer. Because God is putting the enemy over your case to shame. In the name of Jesus, God is putting the enemy over your case to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, thank you. Please, let's continue tomorrow. Let's continue with the prayer tomorrow. I'm losing my voice. Can you appreciate God? Can you appreciate God? Can you appreciate God? I want you to continue with this prayer. We'll have the last session tomorrow. I want you to continue with this prayer. <laughs> Iskia, oh, thank you. God bless you. I'll definitely get some soup. Just need to get some warm tea, get some soup. God bless you, Stephanie. God bless you, Kaki. God bless you, Jonathan. God bless you, Nikki Bailey, Iskia. Everyone, God bless you. I'm sure tomorrow we're going to have more time to pray. Tomorrow we're going to have more time to pray. Yeah, I'm going to get that, Stephanie. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. God is putting the enemy over your case to shame. Hallelujah. Remember the way God shamed Haman? Remember the story of Haman, Mordecai, Esther? That's exactly how God will put the enemies over your case to shame. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for answer prayers. In Jesus' name. Hi, Dorothy Baji. One of the first people to tune in for live session. God bless you. Yeah, I will, Jonathan. I will. Thank you. I'll try my best. God bless you, family. I love you so much. By the grace of God, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for your prayer.
by the grace of God, I will see you tomorrow. Shalom. Ah, thank you.